Right guys, we've got the uh, DRQ250 all set and ready to go. You've seen it's all up weight format with the Mobius camera, the BTX, and all the other bits and bobs we're using. The 1800 free cell zippy compact. Um, got a whack of timer on, and we'll see how long she flies for. see one one red light coming up now I've actually had to hand the controller over to Lisa because I've flown quite a bit today and uh, hovering for that long was was getting to me but there's still plenty of poke in the batteries by the look of it we've just got one light letting us know we're getting a little bit low but we've had no beep yet so I've asked Lisa to continue um, when we get back from this before I upload the video I'll uh, I'll charge the battery fully and I'll let you guys know exactly how many milliamps it took um, to fill the battery back up. So. Right, we've got two or three flashing lights now. Really impressed with these RCX motors. about six pounds each under ten dollars a corner uh, they seem to suit the DRQ 250 really well and as you can see it's really stable starting to wonder whether the bloopers broke loose Gun it a little bit. Yeah, we haven't got a blue, but I'll tell you what, let's kill it there, yeah? Land it there, Lise, and uh, just in case the beep. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the beeper does work. All right, well, there she is. Uh, I'm not exactly how sure long, how long that flight was, but um, that was quite a long flight, Lise, wasn't it? That's your first proper go with a DRQ, what do you think? Yeah, incredibly stable. It is, isn't it? That's that CC3D in there as well, and I think you actually watched me crash this DRQ 250 today, isn't it? Yeah. 
It didn't even do a prop, did it? Awesome. We're loving this, I tell you guys. DRQ250. And that's not a particularly light build. I've used, uh, you know, some quite heavy components. We've got the Mobius permanently in in there. I've used the Q-Brain as well. And I've got an 1800 battery on there, so it's not the lightest of setups. Uh, and as you can see, just hold the controller up. We're using our uh, Cloverleaf and SKU Planner 2.4 gigahertz aerials from technic.co.uk as well. Um, I spent a long time today not line of sight behind trees and walls and all sorts of things. I wasn't a million miles away from myself, but that's really working well. We had no signal loss or control link loss, so I'm really pleased with the setup so far.